Bring on the hate, Paranormal Activity fan boys. Bring on the hate. Because I just saw the second one. And it sucks. It's better than the first, but it still sucks. Because nothing in the movie made any sense. And all it was was just... Loud noises! Whoa! So scary! Oh, oh, remember this scene? Oh, oh, oh my god! That pot fell from where it was hanging! Oh, oh man. Scary pot. Oh god. Man, that's horror, right? Jump scares! That's horror! This movie made no sense. None whatsoever. The family that the demon is attacking in this one. First, let me explain to you about the uh, number one, number two. Number one takes place during number two. What happens in number one is because what happens in num number two, and the whole story comes to head in the very end. But it still makes no sense. Like in the second one, the family gets a DVR security camera system. Security cameras. That's it. Now, why do they get those security cameras that our movie's being shot from in every direction all over the house? That's because they came home one day and somebody ransacked their house. So instead of getting an alarm system, they get DVR cameras. DVR cameras instead of an alarm system. That makes no sense! A DVR camera is not going to stop anybody from coming in and turning up your house! A security system with alarms makes intruders go away. That protects your family. You set the alarm. If someone opens a door, opens a window, smashes a window, if motion is detected, a blaring alarm goes off, and the authorities are contacted immediately. Or when you're at home, you set the alarm so that the inside, you know, the detectives don't detect you while you're staying at home. But if you open up any doors or any windows, it'll go off. That protects you. Not a security camera DVR system! So the whole basis of the movie that's being shot from... Makes no sense. <sighs> the story is that this demon is coming after this family because the son, Hunter, is the firstborn son in generations and the demon is taking the firstborn son because a great, 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 great grandmother made a deal with that demon to make her rich or give her a breast implant or something stupid like that. And the deal was, your firstborn child in your family is mine. But even then, it makes no sense. Why is that, Black Buster? Because the demon wants to possess people. Now, in this movie, the demon itself picks up the baby out of the crib, the baby is like going up and gets picked up out of the crib by nothingness. The demon had him. The demon wanted the baby. The demon had him. Why do you have to prolong crap and possess her and then get thrown over here, possess her, drop pots everywhere, throw cabinets open, before he actually took the baby. And this family is just straight stupid. 
just completely stupid. They have the security DVR system going on, but they hardly, during the movie, they won't review the footage when it's important. Like, for example, one thing that you'll notice about between the difference between the first one and the second one is that in the second one, excuse me, in the second one, the demon is a lot more active. He's doing a lot of stuff. It's really boring stuff, though, for people like me. You know, that aren't highly suggestible and won't, won't jump <laughs> at the drop of a pot. But in the second one, the demon, there's this dog there. And the dog is the only thing that can actually see the demon. Well, that and the baby. And the demon, like, beats up the dog or gives it a seizure or something. But, like, it actually, like, takes hold of the dog or something. Slams it. I don't know. All you get to see is the dog being dragged around the corner and yelping, yelping, yelping. The people hear the dog yelping. They go downstairs to see what's going on with the dog. The dog is just sitting there lifeless. And they just go and they take the dog to the vet or whatever and leave the mom and the baby there. And later on, they don't even review the footage at all. They don't. Why not review the footage to see what happened to your dog? If they saw that, they could easily see, holy crap, nothing was in the house, but our dog was dragged around the corner and beaten into a pulp. I think we better get out of here. Or how about when the demon was lifting the baby out of the crib and, you know, all, he did that just so the baby can walk around on his own. That's it. The demon lifted the baby out of the crib so the baby can just... And the reason why the, the demon was allowed to do it is because the demon got the, the sister, the older sister, the jailbait, to leave the house. He knocked on the door. It was like 11 o'clock at night. The demon knocked on the front door. She thought it was her boyfriend that she kicked out earlier. Opens the door, goes outside. Looks around, and then the demon shuts the door on her and locks it. Pool cleaners. Why the heck did they have to focus so much on that darn pool cleaner? Every night, the pool cleaner was out of the pool. The mom's excuse... It's the ghost. It's the demon. He's pulling the pool cleaner out of the pool. What a wretched demon. All that debris on the bottom of their pool just building up because he's pulling it out. What a scourge of evil. But turns out, like, you know, a lot of pool cleaners, it does this thing and it ends up out the pool. And we saw that in the movie. But they spent like maybe 30 minutes total in the entire movie about this darn pool cleaner. In the movie, there was like some some uh, Hispanic housekeeper who didn't speak any English. But, you know, the stereotypical Hispanic person is always going to be well aware of evil spirits in the house. So she bust out the incense and was chanting something in Spanish or whatever and was going around with it. Mom and Dad came home, saw her putting incense all around the house, told her to go home, you're fired, let her go. And then when the dad finally realized, oh man, we really do have something in here that's quite evil. I, it was like the most ridiculously serious scene in the movie. Like he was just like. 
He had his phone. He was just like. And then the daughter was like, Dad, what are you doing? She tried to warn us. Next scene, they call back the Hispanic housekeeper to assist them with the, uh, you know, exercising of this evil spirit. If I were to give this movie any props, it is better than the first, but only because they don't fool around for an hour to get to the real paranormal stuff. And if you find movies like this scary, if you went out and saw Paranormal 1 and Paranormal 2, and you got home and you were jumping at the <laughs> drop of a pot, you couldn't go to sleep because you were afraid that a ghost or a demon would come get you. I have a few things to say to you. You're highly suggestible. Meaning, you easily let things affect you and influence you. That could be the same thing. You're easily influenced. You rarely make up your own mind. And thirdly, you're prone to be a follower and not a leader. Because you don't make up your own mind, you let others influence you, and you're highly suggestible. That's what I got to say to people who, <laughs> oh, oh, oh God, I'm so scared of the pretty much too. Oh honey, please stay here with me. The director, yeah, different director, different writers. It wasn't the same guy from the first one. They basically took his crap, added more crap, but this time put sprinkles on it. That's what they did. Shay Carl, Ghost Hunter. That's what it is. And it's crap. Oh, Blackbuster, you, you don't appreciate movies that have low budgets and they make it big. You don't appreciate movies like that that try to do something different. I like good movies. That makes sense. And a great majority of that movie made no sense. Whatsoever. It's crap. And that's all I got to say on the movie. I know I didn't really say much this review. I know I didn't. Because there really isn't that much to talk about. It's more of the same. It's just... Paranormal Activity 1 with a Shea Carl family with a, with a few tards missing and getting a security camera system put in for the most retarded of reasons. Illogical reason. The demon had the baby in his hands but didn't take it. Has to possess the mom and then possesses the sister. It was stupid. It was really, really stupid. But if you did enjoy the first one, <laughs> you're going to enjoy the second one. You highly suggestible people. And uh, if there's one thing I, I thought, finally thought of it, if there's one thing I can give this movie. Is that the tie-ins with the first. Pretty well done. I would have to say. That's one thing that was rather good. Was that it gave value to the first movie. So you really would want to watch the first. Before you watch the second. I couldn't see you really getting much out of the second. Unless you watched the first. Because the two movies tie into each other. You'll see what I'm talking about with the Katie chick from the first one and then the newer one. You'll see if you go see it or not. I don't want you to, but if you like those type of movies, hey, enjoy. Paranormal Activity 2, I give it a not one, but two. Sit on it! <laughs>